This is a showdown between Sacrificial Sword Kazuha and Venti in a freeze team. We will be doing it on this chamber 12-1 first half. The rules of these showdowns are, I will be playing it for speed, not the proper rotation. The fastest setup in each team. Sometimes I will be ignoring Royal setup, trailing tails, skipping burst or skill in order to finish the chamber as fast as possible. Every 5 star character will only be at constellation 0, and their 5 star weapons are only at refinement 1. Venti, Kazuha, and Ayato will have 4 star weapons because I don't have any 5 star weapons for them. I will be using 2 different accounts, my alternate account has a stronger freeze Ganyu because of polar star and c6 rosaria with a decent blizzard strayer set. The other account only has c1 Rossi and Amos Bow Ganyu. Both accounts have Venti and Kazuha, comparing the two accounts such as Aito vs Child is not fair, because they are from different accounts and different abyss cards. We will only be comparing Venti and Kazuha. My own Venti has hybrid crit and EM build, and my brother's account has a triple EM Venti. If there are any mistakes made, I'm sure it will only cost 1 to 2 seconds of difference. I played every team with at least 50 trials each team learning and discovering the best possible setup. This is a 12 team showdown so I probably made 600 runs on this video. I deleted all the failed footage because it's taking too much space in my hard drive. Venti has a slight disadvantage because of these mechanics. The Kairagi Samurais have increased resistance when standing up. Venti has no strong stagger to cancel the standing up animation of the Kairagis. Kazuha can easily stagger them and that will eliminate their increased resistance from their standing up animation. Freezing the Kairagi while standing up will retain their resistance, so I will try to avoid perma freezing them as they stand up. It's noticeable in some of my Kokomi runs where I completely ignored Kokomi in the first rotation. Kokomi can permanently freeze the enemies, she can permanently lock this Kairagi sitting position forever, and this will reduce the team's overall damage. Maybe this is one of the strengths of Kazuha, having a very strong stagger. Rule 6, enjoy!
20 free stims are limited to cooldowns per rotation. Sacrificial Kazwa is like a quick swap, has almost no downtime, he has the freedom of sucking the enemies immediately on the second wave. But Kazwa is a lot harder to use because of its unusual rotation with the Sacrificial Sword. But his plunge does a lot of damage along with its shatter. With Kazuha, Rosaria and Child can destroy the first wave easily with just few attacks. I also conserved Ayaka's burst for the second wave and tried to proc the mist splitter passive before using the burst. I tried finishing enemies with Ayaka's charge attacks on Venti's burst because she's the only one who can reach the black hole. Child and Rosaria can't reach Venti's burst. I used Favonius Venti because it really helps Ganyo recharge rather than using Stringless Venti. Venti is stronger on suction and is easier to use but his burst auto targeting is quite annoying. Kazuha has a one time suction but it has no annoying auto targeting. I think Favonius Kazuha will lose to Venti as he will fail to do a second skill on the second wave. It's like 2 to 3 second delay of Kazuha's skill. And the team I had the most fun is this team because I'm able to use Child's Burst 3 times in just under 32 seconds. I never thought that even with Child's problematic cooldown, he can still permafreeze the enemies with Riptide Flash. And this is my favorite team on this showdown. But if you were to ask me what is the best and strongest freeze team, I suppose it will be...